agriculture is important to the design of the new sustainable development goals because agriculture relates to many, almost all the aspects that are important to the new sustainable development goals. First of all, there's the growing population and there's the challenge of the climate change, which is already affecting agriculture and the livelihoods. And uh, also, um, the, uh, we have to, the, the challenge that we have to feed nine, more than 9 billion people by the year 2050. Hence, we need to produce 60% more food. Without agriculture, without sustainable development in the rural sector, there is going to be no sustainable development in the world. The current production system cannot continue, it's not sustainable, without a fundamental change of the way we produce food and we deal with agriculture. Why? Because of, for instance, again, 70% of loss of crop biodiversity already. And also look at the way that farmers using pesticides and chemicals in some parts of the world. For instance, in my home country, China, to produce rice, enough rice to feed the country, and people use three or four times more chemical fertilizers than recommended by scientists or national standards. I am a firm believer and also a strong advocate for the need for an ambitious new sustainable development goals. For instance, as SDG goal number two is calling for ending hunger and also relating uh, agriculture to uh, the elimination of hunger and the malnutrition. Okay. And uh, I think that with such an ambitious goal, a vision set up for the, for the world, and that would help to uh, motivate uh, the governments and the people and all of us towards the achievement of such goals and also to make our lives, livelihoods, and also the planet better. Um, and in my view, and uh, we have the uh, the means of achieving those goals and we need to be confident that we can do it. Uh, by saying that, let me say that also uh, agriculture uh, will be able to contribute to uh, not only goal number two, let's say, but also many other uh, goals. Uh, there are many things uh, that you are doing on the ground, but let me just highlight uh, this, uh, the significant efforts that FAO put in in decentralization to strengthen uh, the capacities of our member countries uh, in making better informed policies that enable agriculture development and also capacity development within those countries, as well as implementations of more sustainable technologies. Okay. So FAO now is actually through our regional initiative led by our uh, regional office in uh, Africa a new partnership program collaborating with uh, the stakeholders, with the research institutes, with the African Union, with African Rice, and also the uh, Coalition for Africa Rice Development Program, the CARD, uh, in developing a new business model uh, which uh, incorporates the implementation of new varieties, new technologies, with en enabling policies, but more importantly, partnership partnership between the governments and private sector and farmers and farmers associations okay, with these uh, sustainable production models. And that's just one example uh, to illustrate our regional initiatives uh, under the new strategic framework and decentralization efforts uh, in FAO.